Hey guys and girls. Um, I just wanted to do a short video because I, I ran out of uh, um, in a box cord this way and you know the, the ones I used for the, the two daggers. Um, I just wanted to make a short video to you how I do it. There are millions of ways or thousands at least and so yeah, if you be with me, you bear with me. I show you my, my way of doing things. I have quite some inner bark here. Uh, this is Linden inner bark. Um, you know, it's uh, depending on which layer you 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 have, you uh, you will find some uh, have this nice structure in there. Do you do you can use them as well. They're pretty sturdy, amazing for bow drill fires for uh, for the bow drill. You can even do a, a uh, a bow string like a, a bow and arrow thing out of it um, so I get this uh, fibers here separated I wet them before I just throw them in, uh, in, in some, some water and then I'm going to put those you know split them split them Let's see how thick I want them and uh, Depending on the project, I'm going to start with, with a thinner one. And what I'll do is uh, start twisting it in one direction. And at, at one point, it will, you'll find that it wants to twist on its own. You know, it's the common, common practice. And uh, I hold it in my, my dominant hand or non dominant hand, and uh, I do have an, an upper string and a, and, a, and a lower string. And what I do is uh, the upper string is twisted away from me. After I finish the twist, I pinch the da the, 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 the second string, the, 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 the one that's down uh, between my uh, index and middle finger, and twist both of them back. Just leaving me with the first coil, and this is what I this is what I do. I tend to do all my bow strings like this. Away from me, back towards me, and this is the way I see it. And what happens is, uh, you you need to untwist the, the fibers, and there you go. See, I'm sorry, I just drilled the fire before the pitch of me, and this is not going to open again. It's uh, it stays like this. So you're working away. Keep both twists uh, at the same level, like you know, or same pressure, same same twisting motion. And that you know, so so the twists get even. And that's that's how I do it. So starting to teach on here. I don't want to teach in here. And this is coming along. For sure, there are faster ways of doing things, but uh, if you want an even string, a string that is uh, strong from start to finish, you know, if there's there's one weak spot in this uh, in this string, you won't be able to use it as a bow string, uh, either for for throwing arrows uh, or creating a, a creating a, a bow drill fire. And that's why I, you know, I like to take my time and uh, see if I can make it as even as possible. You know, there are even some spots in there you, one could could make a little better. But, you know, that's an amazing work. You know, it's just amazing craft. Just, you know, you can do this with everything. Leather, I showed this with leather as well. You can do this with thin you. And every other other fiber you find out there. 
So at one point or another, you will run out of uh, of material. And uh, I just wanted to show you quickly how I uh, uh, put in some some new new strands. So let me see if I can back up a little. So what we do have here is uh, this is these are the ends from from the from the cord I already drilled. And what I do is I I take another strand, fold them in half. And put them exactly at the the cross crossing of the bows of the two strings. I fold them over, and uh, in the beginning you you want to uh, uh, roll them tightly together so they they won't uh, be as thick as they want to be. You know, there will be a light thick spot there. Because uh, it's more material at this at this point, and you will be you will see that, you know, coming from the thin one here, getting into this uh, quite a little thicker one, uh, thicker piece now. Uh, but it's not, you know, depending on what you use it for, uh, it will not uh, be uh, noticeable or a problem. Let me, let's say that it's it's noticeable for sure, uh, but. Doing it this way is uh, uh, is uh, more sturdy and uh, will, you know, be stronger in the end instead of just uh, taking one strand. Let me show you. Taking one strand and putting it on the side, which is going to be shorter or whatever, or you want to put in some, and just putting in there, putting in there. So well. If, if you overlap it, it will be stronger and sturdier for sure. So you will have a, a much uh, stronger cord in the end. And you know, this, you, you, you just, ah, oh yeah, you can see it. No, it's not, it's barely noticeable. And so what you end up with is, uh, let's say, cordage really strong really strong I love this material you can do this with nettles and everything else and there's so many different uh, techniques of doing it uh, you can you can you can roll it on, on your on your thighs like this would you rather you rather do it uh, with your <laughs> with the short trousers on that works as well rolling both in one direction will twist them as well but you know like I said if you want to do it uh, if you if you do it slowly and the result in mind you will be better off in the end and everything every every uh, step you every every twist you put in there uh, you know makes the cord uh, more value to you and you know what you put in there and what what effort it took, and uh, um, you will love it more instead of a, a, a fast put together whatever thing that will break when it uh, needs to you know, if, when you're in need of a fire or whatever. All right. So cordage is the most valuable thing you have in the in the wild. You'll need it to fix uh, fix shelters, whatever, hold little fires and uh, bowstring or for, for traps or whatever. So uh, being able to make cordage which lasts and uh, is strong is a, is a viable thing to have on your toolbox, so to speak. Uh, and uh, it's just amazing to, to sit, sit around and twist cord. Whatever you do, you can talk, size and uh, uh, listen to something, whatever. Talking, listening to stories. Uh, that's a really, really great thing to do. And, uh, you know, being able to do it is amazing. Alright, that's it for now. I'll be going on. Take care. See you soon.